Oh, sweet baby Jesus. To the channel you guys it's a freaking new year miracle right now because we got a gymshark haul coming your way oh finally girl i know it's been a heck of a hot minute a not so hot minute with the gymshark hauls and reviews so today we are looking at some newer but yet kind of older releases from january so a huge thank you to Gymshark for sending some of these pieces out my way. Gymshark's super, super like fast with their new releases. So I'm kind of playing catch up now. So as my packages start coming in, I'll start making more and more review videos for you guys. So definitely stay tuned because uh, I'm gonna have some unreleased Gymshark videos coming your way, girl. And uh, let me just say, uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So uh, on that note, definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, please. Because together we got this. So I don't know what the weather's like where you are, girl, but right around now, we're looking at snow, rain, dreary, cloudy, nasty weather today. But that ain't gonna stop us none because we about to get real bright and cheery up in this here living room. So in case you guys don't know, I am a size small in everything Gymshark. So every piece you see today is in fact in my true size. Everything that I've tried on seems pretty true to size as well. All of my measurements are down below for you to reference. Every item linked individually for your convenience. So, let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna start this haul with the oldest releases of the bunch. So if you guys saw my Battle of the Gymshark leggings, you already know my feelings, my deepest, most sincere feelings about the Hyper Amplify collection. Oh, sweet mommy. Mm. So I finally, finally got my hands on that light teal slash light gray hyper amplify legging. Words can't actually describe how badly I wanted this color. So finally got my hands on it. It is everything I wanted and more. If you guys watch my YouTube videos, you know I compare this legging straight up to Adapt Moral. So if you've tried that one and you like it, chances are you're going like this one, girl. It's a little more in your face, but that's why I like it. Looking at this, my mood just enhances times a thousand. Ugh, the fit is glovey dovey Oh, The high waist, the seamless, the freaking ribbed vibrancy. Like, I think I can go on and on, so. So even with the super light gray that this baby is, it still appears pretty squat proof on me. The length is perfection on me. It's about like a 22, 23 inch. So for me being five foot three, it's, ugh, I couldn't ask for better really. It's got a little more of like a compressive fit, but boy, does it just, it hugs those curves and really just perks that bum up. I just love the contour. I love everything about it. So I got the matching full set, all right? I got the coordinating long sleeve. I finally got the long sleeves. So even with it being a little bit higher compression, there's still like stretch in this to move around. It's not constrictive to the point where you're like, Aah! it's not like that. It's not tight. It's super freaking stretchy with your body, girl. So uh, this whole fit is blissful. I would say bliss is what I'm gonna go with. Now, if only they could come out with a matching sports bra, then life is complete. Okay. I know you didn't think I stopped at the light blue, okay? Even though that light blue is life, I still went with that darker gray color, baby. I got it in the shorts and the leggings. Yes, I did. One of everything, yeah. So I'm gonna be honest with you, like when I first saw this color, I was like, mm meh. I was like, you know what? Enough of the darks, the, you know what I mean? Like I'm already in spring mode. I don't give a shiz about you. But after trying it on, I went, okay, this really does complete the whole, the whole freaking hyper amplify look. So in case you don't wanna be super vibrant one day, you got the option to kind of tone it down a notch, but still look dope AF. Plus it matches a lot more, okay? It's a neutral kind of color. So I got a lot more things that could really mix and match with these. You already know how I feel about these shorts. 
Okay, for them being as compressive as they are, they don't give me the muffin quad. They don't uh, freaking pinch me in or roll up. They don't snap at you, okay? We don't want shorts that talk back like that. No snap in here. It's about a four, give or take, inch inseam, so it's not like booty shorts but it ain't like cycling shorts either. So it's my happy medium and just my overall, when I want a fitted short, this is it, baby, this is it. And I also got, of course, the matching long sleeve, okay? I can't not. <laughs> what I love about the long sleeve, I mean, and the leggings as well, but since I've never featured the long sleeve in any of my YouTube videos, I gotta make note on the contouring. It is right under your tatas. And it just really, they're just so good at highlighting your features, giving you curves through the contour. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really have like a lot to write home about in terms of curves, but when they gonna be emphasizing for me, then I appreciate you and you are now worth my money. <laughs> oh, I know that you saw the new speed shorts. Am I right? Okay, so I had to get one in every color because they're freaking beautiful. So I got the black, the gray, and the turquoise. So I think you know which one's my favorite. I'm in spring mode and um, I get emotional with these colors. <laughs> Straight up, the bands on these are so, so flattering. They hug you so perfectly. They're not too constricting where it's like, ow, dude but it's not where it's like loose loose like say the pulse shorts where they're overly loose and i kind of have to roll them just to kind of make them look kind of cute these just have that nice form fitted band that lays really nice and flat up against you girl and then you have that super lightweight barely there as thin as a freaking feather material that just overlays on you okay it doesn't do anything it doesn't touch you in places you don't want to be touched it just lays down over you and gives you that freedom it lets you choose what you want to do and it don't restrict you none i like that i'm a huge fan of loose fit shorts of all kinds but i really love that they came out with the speed because i don't know about you but you see this do you see this waterfall look the shape is what i'm talking about right now it gets really nice and high and sexy on the sides of your thighs, like on the outer sides. And then it kind of drapes inward a little bit near the crotchal region where you really kind of want to be covered a little bit. It does in fact have a like liner. It's not Spanx to the point where it's like shorts underneath. It's actually more like the underwear bikini type of shape that holds you in, that kind of protects you from being seen beneath. I straight up thought when I first saw this, I was like, oh dang. I said, that's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna dig in, it's gonna cause those lines around my crotchal region. But boy, I like barely knew they were there. It's very, very comfortable. So whether you're doing like crunches at the gym or something like along the lines of that, you're still technically covered. I wouldn't only because it's like, someone's gonna see up your junk a little bit like it's still gonna happen just because it's just gonna look like they see your underwear okay but for running which it's pretty much intended to be for something i don't know anything about then yeah it definitely works you're just gonna be like breezing away like a feather in the wind so and let's not even forget to mention the reflective elements that they have throughout these shorts in case you are running at night, things like that, you're gonna be reflecting. You know, when you hit you, girl, you don't got time to be hit. I love all three of these. These are all keepers, in my opinion. They all serve a place in my heart with the colors, and um, I can't get it up. The band even has a zipper on it, so you can stow away. Stow away your keys, a piece of gum, whatever. What you got going in there? And lastly, little details that I love is the way that the seams kind of swoop down towards your um, crack. It really helps to emphasize curves and make your booty just kind of like, hmm, look like you got a little bit of those lady lumps going. Okay, emphasize those lady lumps a little bit. So overall, so flattering. These shorts, man, I like that they're shorter. They're only about like a three inch inseam, if you will. They're short but they're so flattering because they're flowy. So it's not like over the top booty shorts. So 
nice mix of Gymshark. I, I like it. So I also wanted to try out the speed leggings. So I got them in black and the dark like charcoal -y gray color. So straight up, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't run, so I don't really have, like, why am I freaking buying this? I, just to kind of try, really. <laughs> At the end of the day, it really is just to kind of give you guys a review in case you're a runner. Hey, I don't necessarily run, but you know, I still want to help you out, girl. These have a really nice compression to them. They definitely hug your body, you can feel it. They're very, very shiny, I might add. So looking in the mirror, I was like, dang you're gonna shine, which is pretty good, okay? You still have the reflective elements. If you're running at night, you will shine and be seen. I really do love like the lower third. I think that the geometric reflective elements are really just unique in a way and something you don't always see. They're technically labeled high waist leggings, but for me, for me on my body, they don't feel super high-waisted like I'm used to. And it could be they're just like not my traditional seamless that I like to wear. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, girl. I favor the seamless. But nevertheless, this definitely serves its own unique purpose. You still have the zipper in the band. And you also have like a little drawstring inside the front of the band. So you can kind of swoop it in a little bit and tighten the band if you need it. I know for me, just wearing it without it being tightened and moving around and jumping, I kind of felt like a little bit of it sliding, but it never goes past where I'm comfortable. It always stays put for the most part, but I felt a little bit of that slide. I hiked it up, moved around, and I felt a little shift. Nothing crazy though. But again, that's without me tightening the front cord. Even though these are not seamless, there was no camel toe on me, thank goodness. Both appear very squat proof on me, but let's go back to that shiny action going on. They are super shiny, but it is because it's made out of just polyester and elastane, that's it. So it is a wicking machine. It's meant to wick the elements. If you're running in rain, some snow flurries, things like that, you will wick, girl. You will not get saturated in these leggings. You will wick it right off of your body. These are definitely super functional for people who are pounding that pavement. They're running, they brave the elements. You want your morning or nighttime jog. This is definitely a great legging for you. Um, I gotta get more into running though, for real. Oh, oh. okay. I know that you knew that I was gonna get this. I had to get it. The speed zip up vest Wowza. It is much more lightweight than I anticipated. It's feather light. This is obviously ideal for runners. It is not weighing you down in any way. It is very lightweight. It moves with you and there's nothing bogging you down. So even though it's designed for runners, you best believe I'm gonna be rocking this vest right here because it is freaking fashionable as heck. You have that traditional vest front, but on the sides here, towards the back, it's a different type of material. It feels wicking, it's extra stretchy, so there's some stretch and room so that you can move around in this baby. There's awesome ventilation holes right on the back, and you even have a lower back zipper so you can put your phone, keys, anything you need. You don't have to be carrying anything. It comes to a perfect length. It is not too long, but it's not like super crop where you're like, okay, what the frig is the point here? So really nice fit. And I really love the freaking swoopy line movements going up on that traditional vest look. It just gives it a lot of movement. Something so simple like that, it just gives off that, oh my God, I'm, I'm a freaking badass and I know it. That kind of look. So for my ladies who like to keep it cozy, I also got the Speed Zip Up Jacket. This is a quarter zip, not a full zip. You have a really nice snood neck, one that has drawstrings, so you can keep it nice and close, close it up a little bit on your neck so that you can keep it super toasty. It is very lightweight and it's very thin. So this is perfect for kind of just having something over top, but not necessarily to keep you really warm or anything like that. It does have two thumb holes, the reflective elements on this as well. And overall, it's more like on the baggier side. I tend to find that it looks cuter with the quarter zip open a little bit. 
than zipped up. And that's just my opinion. Um, really nice lightweight hood. There's actually no pockets on this baby, like none on the side where you would think there'd be little zip pockets. Just kidding. I found two pockets right on their wrist. They're not zip or anything and they were totally hidden. They almost got me. They almost got me, but you didn't get me though. So yeah, it's one of those where you can kind of like snug in your AirPods and things like that. Uh, not necessarily something I would put something, uh, you know, uh, super valuable in. <laughs> and you do have little slits in the upper wrist, like for an Apple Watch, Fitbit, and things like that. They're always really good, especially with the speed collection, of being able to utilize like your little tech and stuff like that. So they keep everything in mind. It's a very, very straightforward and simple design just to kind of keep up with that lightweight. So this is something you could put underneath the vest if you wanted to do that and then use the vest as a pocket. But this is totally, this, this whole line of speed is just designed to be efficient, very effective, usable and lightweight so that nothing's bogging you down, girl. I'm waiting to see what they come out with next. Are they gonna have a vest with a water bottle holder in it? Because I, I have a feeling they might do something like that. All right, so I also got the Speed Graphic T-shirt. This is a very lightweight, I mean, it's transparent. You can pretty much see in it. So wear something underneath, girl. This is just meant to kind of be thrown over, just a lightweight, breezy thing to run in. And even though I don't run, I'm already rocking this with my other sets. The graphic Gymshark logo on the front has a lot of that like broken up geometric shapes, just like the leggings did. Really cool how they're coordinating that. This kind of shape, it's longer in the front and then shorter in the back, it comes up a little bit. So it's got a really nice like mix up of angles going on. And me personally, like I do with all of my like boxy crops or pretty much crops in general, I like to just tie it in the front just to show off a little tum tum here and there, you know? I love that casual like boxy sleeve look, okay? Where you don't have to worry about things being super tight and compressive. You can let your, your like armpits just kind of do their thing a little bit and just vent out. It's not like a jersey material where you can't stretch it. It's like a lightweight stretchy mesh, so. Super breathable and real comfy cozy. Okay guys, so lastly to close out, I just snagged a couple of their new release accessories. I got one of their beanies. I'm a freaking sucker for beanies. Where I live, if you don't go out with a beanie, girl, you're insane, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. So yeah, I love their accessories. I think they are severely underrated, especially their socks. I got one in black and one in white. This design, like almost like they took the baseball design and made it their own, you know what I'm saying? These are crew socks that come up like to your shin and I love them. I have so many from them. I have like a huge big container full of their socks. Not only do they cover my ankles and keep me warm in the winter, but they look freaking dope with a pair of shorts. It just makes me like, it gives off that sporty but yet sexy vibe. Like I'm here to just conquer and get shits done. So yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely a collector of their socks. Underrated as heck and um, I'm pretty much gonna own every single one that they come out with because it's always mad cute. All right, you guys. So that was the full new, er, Jim Jar releases. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. So sorry, okay, that it just came up now. January is just a weird one for me, okay? We're starting the new year a little, a little gritty up in here, but it's okay. I hope you guys are patient with me and thank you guys so much for your lovely DMs saying, we shall wait for you. You know what? I really appreciate that a lot. Y'all are amazing. And definitely stay tuned, you guys, because I literally just got a notification that I'm going to be receiving new release Gymshark coming in any day now that I will be filming for you. Things that are not released yet that you are literally Oh, girl, you're gonna pass out when you see these, okay? I know I almost passed out when I saw these newbies. I was like, whoa, baby. <gasps> ah, bae, catch me. Anyways, enough of that. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and I will catch you in my next video.